everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Raid That Full Art Supporter. And today we're looking at my boy Charon and uh, well, my boy, my boy. Well, let's see what other people think about Charon, shall we? But before we get into what you guys decided uh, his uh, rating should be, um, yeah, let's check what he can actually do for us, right? So first of all, what is Charon? What kind of supporter is he? Well, he is the third supporter we're looking at in our series. And what can you do? Well, it doesn't get more simple than that. Draw three cards. That's all, folks. Draw three cards. There's nothing else. No bonus effects. Just raw draw. That is it. And that may explain why some of the ratings are pretty, um, let's say, not very impressive what we're going to be looking at. So starting off, we're going to look at the standard rating. So that means that how good do you guys think he was in the standard format when he was legal? And well, we get a distribution of actually one, two, three. I should remind you the scale actually goes up to five, but not a single one of you guys are giving him an above three, which means that he is okay at best. And a lot of people literally thought he was, well, for lack of better words, trash. And well, that results in an average rating of a 1.6 as his standard score. There's not much else to say about it other than let's look at Expanded and whoa boy, you're in for a fun one here because you're right about it, folks. You only voted him with a one. That is absolutely terrible. And I think even I can, on top of my head, calculate the average of this, well, a one, which simply just means it can't get any worse than that. For so for Expanded, well, he is not very good, to say it mildly, which means that, well, there is uh, infinitely better options out there for you guys than Sharon. So you guys didn't like Sharon. You pretty much trashed him, right? This is not looking good for my boy Sharon. So let's see if uniqueness can help him a little bit. And I am sorry to say this is not helping him either. And what do I mean by uniqueness? Is there any other cards with the same effects? Well, for those of you who just played a little more than a couple of days, you heard about Hop. You heard about how? You heard about Tierno? All guys there do exactly the same thing, making Charon not very unique. I'm sorry for that, Charon. That's why 80% of all the respondents here have granted you a 1 and an average of 1.4. It's fun to say this is even better than what you had for Expanded. Well, it couldn't get any worse. But let's see if you have some salvation in your artwork. And... Amazingly, you do. It is really good artwork. I think it's a really nice piece of artwork here. And also, as you can see here, it comes back with an average of 3.4, which is a pretty solid average if we just look at artwork. And now we also see a nice more spread here. Nobody grand you a one, so at least people were a little more nice about it with Sharon. Most people went for four. Almost half of all the respondent gave him a four. Well, which results in this case here in the nice average of 3.5. Or sorry, 3.4, my bad. Which is pretty good for this. Huh? So let's put all this together, shall we? So here I rated all the things on top of each other. Each of them rated a quarter, so 25%. What overall average will that give us? Well, that's going to give us a 1.85 in average. And for those of you who watched the two other episodes we had so far with N and Bianca, if we put Sharon in, in the row here, well, he ain't better than N. 4.24 is pretty hard to beat. 2.7 for Bianca. The artwork really pulled her up as well. And she's also a little more unique than Sharon here. So with three supporter rated, Sharon takes in third place with an overall rating of 1.84. It's going to be interesting to see how his overall rating is going to be once we get some more supporters in. But well, before we get to announce who is up for the next episode and which you guys can vote for, Let's check some bonus facts about Sharon. And it's actually quite funny. So let's check this out, what you guys think about Sharon. Still better than Mom's Kindness. Draws two, yeah. Black and Bulgarian. I didn't know that, actually. It was a really fun one. Several brothers from another mother. Well, I think somebody's going for Cherno, How and Hop here. It's poor man's Cherno. <laughs> funny one. And so much potential, but yet so useless. And indeed, for people who really know about this, he switched classes with Bianca between Black and White 1 and 2. Fun fact indeed. So here you go, guys. These are the bonus facts for Sharon. Let me know if you knew any of these. I didn't know about some of them, I must say. So it's really interesting to see. And yes, I do try to fact check them before I just mindlessly post them. 
sometimes at least, sometimes fun otherwise, right? And with that said, who's up next though? Let's see about that. Well, it's Skyla. And first of all, I had to be clear about this one. We are talking about Skyla from Boundaries Crossed because as some of you might know, this is not going to be the only Skyla we're going to be raiding. This is the first of so far two Skylas we're going to be raiding. So without further ado, this is, uh, well, that's it for next time, guys. If you guys want to have your voices heard and also get a chance of uh, winning a small prize, then, well, go and cast your vote in uh, in the survey I'm going to post in the description here below. Then you get your chance also to win some nice online codes and also help me out and get your, maybe your bonus fact displayed here for the next episode where we're going to be looking at Skyla. My name is Stefan Eriksson, this is Stefan's Classroom, and until next time.